Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to be talking about Carcassi's very fast Opus 60 number 7, the Allegro. Great piece, super fun piece. This is a preview of full course on this. Please stick around to the end and listen to me play the whole piece to see if you would like to tackle it. And we'll just go through and talk about the main challenges in this video and how the course is organized. And you can decide, is this for you? I hope so. Let's do it. So this is the whole piece right here. And it is mainly made up of two patterns in the right hand. And this is the tremolo, and that's what makes it such a fun and exciting piece. It's the tremolo, and then there's another pattern that happens. And that's the bulk of the piece. It's mostly going back and forth between those. There's pattern one, there's pattern two, there's pattern one, there's pattern two. Throughout, it's just back, back and forth, back and forth with these. Because this is very fast, I highly recommend that you memorize this piece. But do not fear. Don't freak out yet because we talk about ways of memorizing within the course. We talk about how to learn this piece most effectively so that you learn it the fastest or faster and you're able to memorize it very much easier. It's, uh, it's not just playing through from the top to bottom a whole bunch of times. That's really not good practice. Instead, we look at different ways of practicing and learning the piece initially so that it's there so that we can come back to it leave for a couple months, come back, practice it some more, have fun until we get sick of it again, and then go back and then three months later come back to the exact same thing. That way, as a study, then we continue to study it. We continue to, we continue to improve and use it as a tool in which to get better. And it just gets funner the faster we get with it. If you'll notice on this, on this main score right here, there are these little rehearsal numbers in squares. And what I've done is broken these into small practice sections. So here's the first bit, and we go through and look at how do we do it? What chord is this? This is an A minor chord. How do we practice this? How do we move our fingers? What are our left hand motions? So that we can get that just so. What are the considerations with transitioning from one chord to the next so it connects really smoothly? And also from one section to the next and one big section to the next. All these things. We go through piece by piece, note by note, and look at both hands, both the right hand and the left hand. This is not a tremolo course. It's not a course specifically on the tremolo, but we do talk about tremolo technique, right hand technique, right hand patterns, how to practice the tremolo and the, uh, and the other right hand patterns so that they smooth out. And so we have both the right hand and the left hand going on. And then we also talk about the dynamics, the shaping, what does this mean that we're actually, are we gonna get quieter? How much quieter? How do we get quieter and what's the arrival point? Where is it that we're trying to get to here? And why are we getting quieter? If you're into playing from tab, instead of playing from musical notation, tab is included with all of the practice materials. So the full score, if this course comes with the music and it comes with the tab as well. So you get the full score and the tab and also the practice section separated with both tab and notation. The course videos themselves, as we go through each of the sections, only use the musical notation. But it's very easy to follow along with the tab because it's in practice sections. You know exactly where we are all the time. You can just look at it at your score and see where it is and then just look down below. And that's perfectly easy. Well, this is a great piece. I hope that you learn this piece at some point, whether it's with me or whether it's not with me, because it's such a good time. Had a great time creating this and learning it and practicing it and playing it and I hope that you will as well. Please stick around, listen to the tune itself and if you would like to learn more about the course just go ahead and click below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.